وما لهم من دونه من وال هو الذي يريكم البرق خوفا وطمعا وينشئ السحاب الثقال ويسبح الرعد بحمده والملائكة من خيفته ويرسل الصواعق فيصيب بها من يشاء وهم يجادلون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وبعد أموى ما سجرما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Muna kari wa Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala gudia Ni rayat da muwenuna mana wana luka shimi al-barka Nda miki hatuwa do min karanta al-Qur'ani Nda kuma bibiyan ma'anu nansa do min aiki da shi Muna yin addu'a Allah ya sa'ata ala muchikada kiwa da imani Yawma kabayid mukasaba Za mutashi dini na mukwana wa ncham maku Hari yanzu muna chikin suratu al-Baqara Na mutashi akang ayat ita latin dashida We are going to continue from where we stopped last week We are still in Surat al-Baqara We are continuing from verses 36 Where Allah says Fadallahum al-Shaytan A'udhu billahi min al-Shaytan al-Rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فأزلهما الشيطان عنها فأخرجهما مما كان فيه وقلنا اهبطوا بعضكم لبعض عدو ولكم في الأرض مستقر ومتاع الإلحين. وأنا آية تلاتين دشدا شيء قبلي دبياني نا إسم النبي آدم عليه الصلاة والسلام دكما يالنسا هواء عليه الصلاة والسلام. Ida muncuna cembaya mengambaci waktu warna kisah ngaji wa Allah ya gaul malaiku zihalici kakak mu Nabi Adam suka nuna rasinya dah sabu de iring abinda suci lah cuma ngaji Adam dia doi abang kasa nawa tu barna dzub dzul tu Allah taala saya nuna masuk yasang abinda musani. Kuma ya halat cik Nabi Adam alaihi salatu wassalam Ya sana nashi suna yang wasu abu ba Su kuma akatan bayi suna yang wa ena abu mbus ke kasa baada bayan Sa anna akatan bika kamu an Nabi Adam sayye baada jawabi Tu nani Allah ta'ala yachi da suma la yaku su yisuk jada Wa tu nabang jirma Da gai suwa kaka kamu an Nabi Adam sabu da palalai ilim Tusukai saya ibili sesi yang nak cikin jin baca cikin malai koi kiba ye tawai ye ki ye jerman kai yuk muka purca tu si alat alat cium kakak mu anda bi adam ye zau nasi de iya lensa susu biu suci de abin de sikit suat cing aljana kaga aci yang tu najeri aci kecik de abin de sikit suat kai kadei Kita baca ayat isu, ko abu jemaah aku baca ayat isu, ko anggo musyrik kita ayat kecil, ko zaman aku bumi tu kita madam, tu ayat aku baca ramai mata iya aku mu tu balik aci al janna, dik al janna aku baca kita ayat aku baca kamu ane dah, amasi Allah ta Allah itu akhir, ya aku besi cewa aku itu aci aku dah, wad aku Allah ta Allah hana. Kusantan cabal lima aci ayat. Duka detail. Yang semua duka nama mukaria Nigeria. Tu say anda bi Adam aku baca warna matai, warna jerma, warna tau kaka. Ama itu aci ayat detail akan aja. 
to a mashe dan daman daman tun lokacin da aka ce sujada yake tun a lokacin ya zama tun maki ga kakan mu anuga da kuma ya alkawari a wurare daban-daban cin alqur'ani mai girma da Allah ya ambata ciya sai ya halaka ayan adam ga waki dai sai dai wa'ad da Allah ta'ala ya kutar Allah ya sa muna cikin ku da to wannan shi ya kawo ga shi dan ya dinga bin kakan mu annabi adam cewa sai ya ci itaciyar sai ya ci yana talalama yana tabi yana shi ko yana da naciya da yana da naciya wato professor ne wajen fadda mutane shi sa kada mutun ya bari shi dan ya zanto shi ne wato ainin abokin tattanawa sai ya halaka to saboda wannan bibiyan Allah ta'ala ya ce da mu a nan wannan aya fa azallahu mashaytan an shi dan ya talalla su ya talalla domin me domin ya kauda su daga gare ta daga aljanna wannan lamirin na anha to aljanna yana tabi da nacewa ta ce ta ce shi ba ka san ka da woma ne shi ba ka san ka ba ni ai idan ka ce ka san dan adam ba yi san mutuwa yanzu ka ce mai shekara 70 yaya ki ce mu shirya in ya kai ta mani sai dai alarar mummi amma idan mutum ba alarar ba mai ko ya kai ta mani zai ce maka har yanzu ne muna shirye ku shi dan adam ba ya kare shiri sai ya ga kansa aka bari don ba yi san mutuwa haka Allah ya yi wa ku shi annabi adam cikin abin da aka mai amfani shi da in ya ci itaciyar ne da wa saboda haka ya kusanci itaciya ya kare doka doka daya Allah ta'ala ce fa akhrajahu ma mimma kana fi sai Allah ya fidda su 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 biyu daman su biyu ne cikin aljanna da shi da iyalin sa sai fidda su kuma su su biyu da annabi adam da hawwa alayhi salatu wassalam mimma kana fi na da abin da suke ciki na jin dadi na ni'imomi cikin aljanna sai aka fidda su to amma ga hikima na larabci da balaga na qur'ani sai Allah ta'ala ce wul nahbitu Allah ta'ala ce sai ya ce ku sauka ba biyu ba da biyu ne sai a ce wul nahbita sai Allah ta'ala ce kul nahbitu ku sauka dukkanin ku to da wa ake magana tun daga annabi adam da ya tabbata ga hawwa ya tabbata waye na ukun su ko kuma fiye da haka aka ce alama ce na duk mu sauka da mu kakan namu da zuriyar su ga baki da mu sauka ko suka ce a ai ai iblis shi karan kansa lokacin an ce shi ma ya sauka shi sai saki biyo kakan mu adam alayhi salatu wasallam ban kasa yana bin mu dai dai kware yanzu shi da zuriyar sa wanda kowanne ka dauka yana daidai da ma'anan cewa duk ku sauka mu shi dan ya sauko shi ma sun sau to daga har yanzu dai shi dan yana da sauran aiki kuma ina yi don ba aiki shi dan ba yanzu a najeriya a ce musulmi yana kawo musulmi sai an kawo kudi me za ka yi da kudin kudin da ba su da albarka ke za ka yawanci wanda ake kawo za ka su da ka gan su ka ga matsiyata ba alama annuri ko daya a tare da su ba alama ni'ima ba alama jin dadi ba alama mutsuwa saboda zanun shi ne da cuta da danniya da rashin sanin ya kamata ka kama dan adam ko dabba ba idan ka kama shi ka daure shi ka tozarta shi bari dan adam amma saboda shi dan ya sauka shi ma sun sauka har yanzu shi yana nan yana ta aiki shi da zuriyar sa shi sa har yanzu muke cikin wato yanayi wanda yake mawuya shi kunna bitu ba'dukum li ba'din abi shashin ku da shashi makiya junani shashi na kyaman shashi shashi na kin shashi idan ka dauko cewa da mu da kakan mu aka saukar to shi ne shashi yana kyaman shashi yana kin shashi yana ketawa shashi ka muka muka najeriya a mun gani ai dannan dannan zaka samu kawai dan juna an ba haka ma najeriya kamata a ce kowa yana cikin abin da ya gana ma saboda arzikin da Allah ya mai amma shashi sun wasu ba shi abin da ba za su iya ci ba wasu ba su kawo kuma ya dai a can 
amma gaba nan ba aka kamata musulmi hatara da danna hakkin wani ko ko ba musulmi bane idan ka danna hakkin sa gobe zaka biya shi goban can ko sai Allah ta'ala ce shashi suna masu suna masu adawa suna masu yayya ga shashi ba'dun libadin abu wa lakum fil ardi mustaqar kuna da shi a ban kasa matabbata matsuguna inda za ku zauna kamar yanzu muna da garuruwa da kasashe daban-daban muna zauna a ban kasa Nigeria suna nan Ghana suna nan America na nan Saudi duk kowa yana nan a ban kasa a ban kasa yake zauna ayi gidaje manya manya an yi wajen wato shakatawa manya manya an yi wajen holiwa manya manya duk a ban kasa ne mustaqar inda yake zaune mutun yana nan yana nan a ban kasan Allah ne fa a bar ka ana sa a Allah to amma wannan wato musugunan ko mazaunan ba ba zama mari har abadan a na din lokaci ne shi sai Allah ta'ala ce wa mata'un ilahin da kuma wani jin dadi zuwa wani lokaci dan kada yanzu wadan su suna holewa wasu shaye shaye suke wasu zuna ce zuna ce wasu sata wasu danniya wasu dai miyagun ayyuka dewa ana nan ana tayi da sunan ana holewa ana jin dadi to Allah ya tabbatar da wannan zancen amma sai ce zuwa wani lokaci dan kada da ga mutun ya tashi tun yana samartakan sa bai da mage mu ya mun ya dan fito kadan kadan daga baya fari da baki da bayi zai zauna to fari pat daga baya ma ya zo zauna to kamar auduga ko ba gane ba an so magan gara gida idan me halin ne ma bai ji dadin da a ce to ide ide ne shan farfe su ide ne cin kaza ide ne cin nawa arma allah eh ce ne masu tilawa kada duk an hana mutun duk wani abu na jin dadi an hana shi sai koma cin ganye a ce wa abin nan kai ci cin ganye mutun ya ta neman salat ba ga dukiyan ga rayuwar amma ko batun da kafa ya daina motsawa da kyau ido sai an nemo fitila ana karawa a kai ido hudu kun nema sai kai daga cikin ji idan adam kenan dama idan Allah ta'ala ya tsawai ta mutun rayuwa sai kuma ya sake maida shi ya tsawaye wa yayin gaban da ya ba shi jin ya zanto mai rauni ganin ya zanto mai rauni a takawa ma mai rauni duk abin da ka sani ya koma mai rauni ai dan adam ko burin sa ake a duniya a shafa ba ai mutuwar da muke wato ai ni wata rahama ce daga Allah da yanzu a ce za ga mai shekara 500 a Najeriya a yau kai shi ba guru za ka yi ba ne dai kana tilawa akarin kullu ga mai shekara mai shekara 400 hudu ai guru za ka yi dan ya riga ya fita daga haicin sa dan adam saboda ka mutu amma rahama ce Allah ya mana jin dadin nan dai ka dan ne ka dan ne tsakanin yan shekaru nan da ka sani tsakanin shekara 15 wa ko 70 wadansu ko zuwa 60 ko 60 da biyar zaran dai kawar 70 kai ma ba sai an ga maka saboda ka jin dadin nan na duniya ka dan ne ilahi in ma an barka kenan wasu ba za a bar su wasu shekara 30 ya rasu wasu shekara 30 da biyar wani ma 40 wani ma bai kai ba shi sa wannan nassin nassi ne wanda yake ko ba musulmi a karanta mu dole yadda ka ji dadin ka ga ba ka sani zuwa lokaci ne dan ka da Allah ya samu cika da iman a rab fa zallahu fa azallahu mashaytan anha fa akhrajahu ma min ma kana fi وقلنا اهبطوا بعضكم لبعض عدو ولكم في الارض مستقر ومتاع الى حين نعم الله says in this verse verse 36 of bakara فاذن لهم الشيطان عنها شيطان you know uh, 
we have been discussing earlier in the previous sitting about the creation of our grandfather Nabi Adam alayhi salatu wasalam when Allah was informing the angels mm. that he's going to create a representative a vice grants on earth mm. our grandfather and Nabi Adam which they are not in support by making claims and evidences that our grandfather alayhi salatu wasalam and his children are going to receive and shed blood on us. Mm. These are their two major points. And Allah told them that he know what they know not. And he created our grandfather and Nabi Adam alayhi salatu wasalam and he taught him the names of some things and they were asked to mention the names and they could not and our grandfather mentioned it then Allah commanded them to prostrate before Nabi Adam alayhi salatu wasalam which they did except Satan who rejected and refused and became very arrogant of course he ended up in disbelieving Allah's word now there and then Allah commanded the angels to bow and they, uh, they did mm. uh, shaitan rejected and Allah commanded our grandfather and Nabi Adam and his wife to be in the paradise, the Jannah where things are in abundance of enjoyment mm. in terms of uh, accommodation in terms of drinks in terms of food in terms of anything you see to be enjoyment provided for them in the paradise and Allah said they should enjoy whatsoever they want to enjoy. Except that they were being given a command not to approach a certain tree, only one. And because of the nature of Iblis, Satan, he continuously preaching to them, if you so like to use that word, that they should approach that tree. If they want to stay forever, let them do. At the end of the efforts of Satan, they did. In Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said here, for Allah was shaitan wa anha, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, by shaitanic effort, make them to sleep therefrom. They disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, shaitan insisted, he's the one who removed them from the paradise. He used all his mechanism, all that he has of instrument, he displayed them, and he was successful. That's how he distanced them from the paradise. He makes them apart from the paradise. Now this, Fadhal uh, Lahuma, Shaitan Anha, is referring to the paradise. He make effort to make sure he distanced them from the paradise, and he succeeded. Now Allah said, as a result of that, for This act of theirs and the effort of Shaitan make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove them out of the paradise. Of course, Shaitan is the one that has caused them being removed from the paradise. And if you look at it, Mimma Kanafi. They were removed out of what they were dwelling in. They were staying inside with all kinds of enjoyments. Mm. Now they have been removed out. Two of them, the husband, who is Nabi Adam, and the wife, which is Hawa, mm -hmm. <laughs> Salatu was Further, Allah added, Allah says, get down. Here, Ibitu is not to be to two individuals. No, it's not both of them. It's beyond that. It's plural. Bitu min hajami. All of you should come down. But if you look at the first part of the verse, it's communicating only two. Now the communication changed to three and above. That's why scholars said the communication here is referring to Adam, Hawa, and Satan. Because Satan too was sent down. You know, he has his way of monopolizing to enter the paradise and convince them. So, all of them were to come down. Why well, that we are lucky that maybe it is only a grandfather and mother that came down. Maybe 
they couldn't have been this mischievous ever. Mm. There couldn't have been these plots and plans of Shaitan. Even though some said, go down you and your generations, you and your progeny, you and your children, and grand grandchildren that, that we are, he's having. All the same, the verse has mentioned that all of them should go down. Added to it, Ba'adukum li ba'din adu. You are going to be enemies of one another. A set of you are going to be enemies to set of you. Mm. And that's what we are living in today. People being enemies to one another. It has been confirmed. Mm. If not, why should you, as a Muslim, kidnap a fellow human being? You are waiting for ransom. Somebody you did not create. You did not give birth. You don't know how that person is surviving. Some even with children. Some are even pregnant. They give birth in the hand of them. This, this, this. And then you claim you are a Muslim. Which kind of Islam are you practicing? So that immunity is there today. Uh, as Allah has confirmed here, then Allah added, Walakum fil ardi mustakarru. And there for you and us is a dwelling place. Dwelling place, place you live in. You build your mansions, you build your markets, mm. you build your business, you build your mm. parks, you know, place of enjoyment mm. are all available. And you are, you are on us enjoying buildings mm -hmm. where you are staying as your accommodations. Mm -hmm. And also you have enjoyment, you are enjoying, but for a time. That enjoyment is for a while. The enjoyment of us cannot be permanent. You need not to be told. It cannot be permanent. Mm -hmm. We will have enjoyed before our arrival. They have enjoyed, in fact, all form of enjoyment. Mm -hmm. There are no more today. And today, we are given the opportunity. If, if one prefer to enjoy, let him go and enjoy. It's just for a while. History will tell. So that's why a Muslim should be very wise enough. Let him be weighing the enjoyment of this life and the enjoyment of the hereafter. The enjoyment of this life is described here in many verses of the Quran that yes, it is enjoyment, but for a while, for a time, limited. Mm -hmm. Let's assume you are going to stay on us for 100 years. And let's assume since you have been given birth to you, have never noticed anything hardship. No even hunger. You eat what you want, you drink what you want, you do what you want for good hundred days. At the point of death, you will forget that enjoyment. Now, the punishment of billions of years will come. So never you sacrifice uh, Omatao Ilahim. Mm. Don't sacrifice it with the paradise that will be billions of years. In fact, if you say billions, we are even, we are even reducing the, the number of years because it is forever and ever. Yeah. So a Muslim should always be calculative. He should be very wise. Quran has never denied that there is enjoyment, but Quran is telling us that if you want to make this enjoyment mm. at the expense of the one coming, then you go ahead. People have done it before you. We are not going to be a new person. So let us try as much as possible to make sure anything we want to enjoy on us is an enjoyment that is legalized. A legal one. Don't go for an enjoyment that has no any legal backing. It's going to be a regret on the day of the end. فتلقى آدم من ربي فتلقى آدم من ربي
به كلمات فتاب عليه إنه هو التواب الرحيم نعم الله تبارك وتعالى يشيك بدأ بام لابارين النبي آدم لوكتين ديشي وإنه يأي إتاتوا دا أكهانا سي الله يسوكت لشي بانكس شي da iyayen sa da shaitan to amma ganin shi annabin Allah kuma shine wato kaka ga gare mu ga baki dai mu to sai Allah ta'ala anan yake ba mu labarin abin da ya faru bayan annabi Adam ya sauka ban kasa fa talaqa Adam min rabbi kalimati annabi Adam sai karbi wasu kalmomi daga wajen ubangijin sa ku sa wasu malamai suka ce to menene wa'annan kalmu rima ce babu tsakanin malam amma abin da ya fi sauki da malamai suke fassarawa ya fi sauki a mafi tafsirai shine annabi adam alayhi salatu wassalam farko dai tukunna yayi na dama ina abin da yi a matsayin sa na annabi to bayan wannan dama kuma sai ya nemi tuba sa'an nan kuma ya nemi gafaran Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala to idan aka hada wa mutum wa'annan to sun yi daidai da kalmomin ko baka san su ba duk abin da kai kai na dama kar ka je kana jin dadin abin da kai na barna kuma kar ka yadda ka je kana ga wa mutane kai shuru da bakin ka sa'an nan ka tuba sa'an nan ka nemi gafaran Allah idan kai haka ka cika wa'annan kalmomin da kowane yare ka fadi yayi mafi sauki kuma da Allah ta'ala ya karantar da mu a shari'an annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam shi ne kace astaghfirullah wa atubu ilaik kaga akwai istighfari akwai tuba a cikin wannan kalmomin kadan kuma ka fadi iya iya wanka kuma duk lokacin da ka fadi kana laba abin da kai da to idan kai wannan to kai tuba kuma ka nemi gafara kuma ana fatan Allah ta'ala duk wanda ya tuba Allah zai ya fi musu domin mu daman Allah ya halicce mu da rauni da mu yi laifi to mu yi da dama sa'an nan mu tuba kuma kar ka yadda ka ce a to ai shike dan to tunda akwai tuba a shike dan sai mutun ya ta farra to Allah ba a mushi wayo a zunna musallacin nan ne da imam tamim ake gaya mana cewa wani ya hauta katanga kawai a wata jiya cikin jiyoyin mu na arewa jiya jiya din nan ya hau katanga wannan zai sata aka ku same shi da aduna da sanduna sai lahira ku ya irin wannan tafiyar take to mata shi ne kaga ta yi a tunanin sa bari ya je yi sai daga bayi mene ya tuba shi Allah ba a mashuwar kullum kan yi san ci barma kar ka yadda ka ce ba bari ka yi tukun da ka tuba kana cikin yi sai Allah ya dauki abin sa abin da ka satan ba ba ka mora ba ta yi ma ba ka kai ga satan ba to je kama ka samu ka satan ka zo ka mora Mene ne ni ba ba kiyama ce ka ci zalin wane akai ka huta ba ba riba shi sa Allah ba a mashuwa kuma mutuwa ba ta san yaro ba ya kace a ai mu yau shekarun mu 40 ko 35 wa shirin da biyu eh sai sai mu shekara 30 ya mutu ya rasu me 85 yana nan garau to shi yasa a yi ta tuba kuma idan kaddara ta hau ka sake yin wani lafin ka tuba amma kul ka dauki dabara cewa kai dabara za kai to abin da ya kwabe ka talaka adam mai rabbi kalimatin sai annabi adam ya kai wasu kalmomi daga ubangijin sa fa taba alayhi sai allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ka tuban sa shi yasa ba wata rigima duk abin da za ka fadi akan annabi adam kai hattara fa taba alayhi Allah ya kabi tubansa to kai me naka 
na watangai kai mutum ya zo yana cewa to ai annabi adam shi ya ja kai to kai hatar kar ma ka karsa ai ga ni ma za ka ta karsa go to laka kai ta istighfari domin shi Allah ta'ala ya tabbatar mana kai naka ba sani ni ma na ba sani amma shi nasa tabbaci ne fa taba alayhi Allah ya zaki wansa sai Allah ta'ala ce innahu lalle shi Allah da mai da zai kuma ga huwa shine at-tawwab miliyan karban tuba ba tuba ne ba ne tuba ya karba ka tuba ya karba kowa ma ya tuba Allah ka ta'ala shi mai yawan karban tuba mai son ma a tuba ne domin ya karba kuma shi Allah ta'ala ar-rahim mai jin kai ne ga bayan sa yana son tuba domin ya yi ta ga duk wannan wata rahama ce Allah ta'ala yi ma wannan al'umma ta mu da aka saukar da Qur'ani ake ba mu wannan labarin ake cewa ko mu tuba ko mu sani Allah mai karan tuba ne sa'annan Allah ta'ala mai jin kai Allah ba ya san mu koma wajen sa da zulmi shi sa annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam shi baya ma zulmi yana istighfari a wasu riwayan sau dari a majalisi daya wani dai je wannan mai shayi a wa uku ana ta suruku ina ce wallahi wannan gwamnati muna ce wa za ta yi kalata amma yanzu ta zo subsidy ai ta a wa uku akan subsidy kai ba kai subsidy ba kai ba rige ba kai dan ake ba ka ta dai mori gima ba kanka ba kai tuwa ba da a wa uku nan zama kai kana ta istighfari da ya maka kuma abin ta kai ci sai ka samu wai da suke irin ba ta lokacin nan sai ka samu duniyar ma ba a same ta ba Ah, wanda suke dan wolewa ma idan suka yi wani a ga damun sun dan tawa wani ke taba wa gaje can ga ayyuka ya mamun ta taba Allah ya sawaki Allah ya fi mana gaba da fa talaqa adam fa talaqa adam min rabbihi kalimatin fa taba alayhi innahu huwa at-tawwabu ar-rahim as we have said alia an nabi adam alayhi salatu wa salam and his wife were commanded by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come down and satan uh for what they have done of going against the command of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the paradise now that is an offense it's a sin and here allah says fatalaqa adam min rabbi kalimat in an nabi adam received from his creator from his lord kalimatin some words some words the consensus of scholars is that these words are in form of repentance seeking for allah's forgiveness after regretting of what they have done it doesn't matter the nature of the words but the concept is that these words are words of forgiveness pardoning when our, when our grandfather received these words and he applied these words after regretting his act and actions for taba alayhi then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pardon him he has forgiven him because he has sincerely repented so what is expected of all of us as you commit any form of sin then never you delay seeking for allah's forgiveness repenting to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because that was done by our grandfather and nabi adam and allah accepted that seeking for forgiveness have been accepted by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so nobody should come today and say and nabi adam has done this has done that is not actually befitting you he has been forgiven confirm fataba alayhi allah has forgiven him 
then what is your business? You don't have any business. And uh, in our own generation, in our own time, Rasulullah Sallallahu has encouraged seeking for Allah's forgiveness. And he himself, who is not even sinning, he used to repent uh, and seek for Allah's forgiveness in a sitting for more than a hundred times. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayk. Astaghfirullah wa atubu. And that's why it's recommended every morning after Subi, you are expected to say a hundred times, hmm? Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayk. And also you say it after Asr or after Maghrib as much as you could. Innahu huwa tawabu rahim. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is tawab. He accepts repentance continuously. He, 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 in fact, uh, he wants us to repent so that he will forgive us. And Ar-Rahim, Allah is merciful. Out of that mercy, he doesn't want us to be involved on the day of Qiyamah in a situation we will never like. That's why the two names are Allah's name and are his attributes. He accepts all Tawbah. Anytime you seek for Allah's forgiveness, Allah will forgive you. Anytime you say, oh Allah, I'm repenting, Allah will accept your repentance. Because he is the most merciful. So we should not delay. Any point you commit any sin, don't delay. And if that sin involves the right of others, don't delay in seeking for their forgiveness. I narrated a situation of a young man who was uh, 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 going to commit crime of stealing. In that process, he was beaten to death. Now, what is he going to tell the last one? So don't play a game of saying, since Allah is the work, you will sin and you, you will sin and you take the concept of that. You may die sinning. But nonetheless, Nonetheless, don't allow shaitan also to confuse you that, no, you have been sinning, so don't even seek for forgiveness, no. At any moment, you could not control yourself and you sin, don't hesitate to ask for Allah's forgiveness. May Allah forgive all of us. Qul nahbitu. Qul nahbitu minha jami'a fa imma yatiyannakum فمن تبع هدا فمن تبع هدا يفلا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون. الله تبارك وتعالى يجي بين شيء النبي آدم كما رأنزو جبن أرجع أن يبيمش أن يبيمش أم بابا جبن da aka ce kare yayi ka bayi kuma an zo gaban an yafi mu ta ga wannan kisar ta kare magana annabi adam cewa ka ce wai mun gaji zunubin sa ko ba sani ba nan wasu addinai sai a ce wai zunubin da yayi mun gada a ina wala ta zura ziratun uzra ukhra allah ba ya daura wa wata rai laifin wannan to balle ma shi wanda ake cewa an gaji zunubin nan allah ta'ala ya ce ya fi to me aka gada kun da gada ya mu musulunci komai mu warwarai a to mutum bai lebi ba ga cewa ya gada me ya gado samu addini mu kullun yana daidai yana tafiya da daidai da wanda yake da hankali yace kai wannan abun akwai 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 hankali cikin sa to Allah ta'ala yace kul na sai muka ce ibitu mu sauka abin ha daga cikin ta jami'an dukanin ko dai ka ce dukkan annabi adam da zuriyarsa ko duk da shi da shi dan wadda anan ya fi kama da mu da mu ayansa da shi karan kansa saboda bangaren aya da ta biyo baya tana nuna da mu ake mm kun nabitu min ha jami'a muka ce ku sauka daga cikin ta gabaki daya dukkan kana bar ko daya to abin da ya biyo bayan ayan sai Allah ta'ala ce fa in ma ya'tiyannakum minni huda idan ya zo muku daga gare ni daga daga wa daga Allah huda shiriya 
idan Allah ta'ala ya saukar da shari'a to ga ga abin da ake so mu yi idan shari'a ta zo mana tunda kan kakan mu annabi adam alayhi salatu wasalam zuwa yau sai Allah ta'ala ya ce faman tabi'a hudaya duk wanda ya bi wannan shari'a shari'an ta Allah tabarak wa ta'ala hudaya shari'an Allah tabarak wa ta'ala wanda ya saukar duk wanda ya ba ba yanzu ba abin banta ba koma waye ya bi to me zai faru idan mutun ya bi wannan shari'a kage yanzu an saukar da annabi adam an saukar da jikokin sa da ayyan ayyan sa da kowa har da mu a ci to Allah ta'ala ya alkawarin zai turo shari'a idan mutun ya ya bi wannan shari'a fala khaufun alayhi to wa'annan babu tsoro akan su wala hum yahzanuna sa'an nan kuma babu bakin ciki a tare da su haka magana cikakka to shi yasa wannan aya ta fi bayyana karar cewa ana magana ne akan annabi adam da kuma wato ainin ƴaƴan sa da jikokin sa mu kenan bayan kakan mu ya sauko ban kasa idan muka yadda Allah ta'ala ya turo shari'a wadda duk kowace al'umma Allah yana turo musu annabi da shari'a idan mutun ya bi wannan shari'ar to shikenan zai koma al jannah idan ya ki kuwa to zai gabu da Allah to shi yasa yanzu muna gaban mu zaba ko mutun ya bi shari'an nan ko yake wannan kalma ta huda shi yasa Allah ta'ala ya amfani da ita wurare dai wa cikin alqur'ani zalikal kitab la riba fi huda wannan huda ake nufi lil muttaqina ga littafi nan an saukar kuma ana nuyi littafin daga nesa babu abun wato ainin kokonto a ciki duk gaskiya ne a ciki a ciki ba abun da zaka ce a a ina shakkan ka za a shari'a ne amma ba ga kowa ba ba kowa ne masu jin tsoron Allah masu jin tsoron Allah suna bin Qur'ani sau da kafa saboda wannan shi da Allah ta'ala ce zai saukar kowace al'umma an saukar mata mu al'umma mu an saukar mata da annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam shine manzon mu sanan al'urani shi ne litafi idan ka bi al'urani bisa fassaran annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to shi kenan ka ka kubuta kafira Allah ta'ala ya sanya mu cikin masu bin wannan shirya. Shi yasa malamai duka babu sabani suka ce wannan shirya da aka ce mu bi ita ce rayuwa ta biyayya ga Allah tabarak wa ta'ala da kuma manzo mu annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wannan shi zai ba mutum wato sa'ada wato wato zai ba shi wato rayuwa mai kyau. Ah wanda wannan rayuwar za ta hana yi tsoro za ta hana shi bakin ciki kuma za ga ayo da dama sun zo da kore tsoron nan da kore bakin ciki ka bi Allah ka taimaka ma jama'a Abu Gurabi din nan bin Allah ai duniya ya shafi su zan ga su azumi zuwa shi jama'a kuma taimaka musu in kana da kudi ka fito da su san wannan zamanin a Najeriya kai ta raba wakawa ba za su kare ba ka taba ganin tilawan wani ya kare Allah rabba ka shiga ta wani aka doka Allah ai tilawa ba ya kare haka shi ma mai kudi idan yana bayarwa dan Allah ba za su kare karuwa za su dinge bangaren nan guda biyu ka bi Allah ka so ta wajama kuma ka da kudi ka fada zance mai dadi in suna murna ka taya su murna in suna cikin bakin ciki ka jajanta musu duk yana ci malamai suka ce wannan bakin cikin da kuma wato wannan tsoron suka ce abu biyu ne dama idan mutun zai mutu abinda zai bari a baya da inda zai ji duk wanda zai mutu sai ya kira ni wannan abinda zai bari a baya ƴaƴan sa ne matan sa ne abokan azzuka makwabcin sa abokin karatun sa abokin musaffa duka wa'annan nan sun shiga abokin kasuwa working office da kuma inda zaka je baka tafi zuwa ba ba dan rakiya 
Kusema la ikuzu zosu na rana shimu Tengu sana cha Mbaba kenchi Kwa laka wali za ukula Nda laka jiku wala wala kata Allah sahu na chikinsu Kul la bitu min na jami Kul la bitu min ha jami a Fa imma yakti annakum فمن تبع هداي فلا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون Yes, Allah says in this verse which is a continuation of the earlier read that Allah has forgiven our grandfather and Nabi Adam confirmed that's why in Islam there is no concept of inheriting sin in some religion, other religions, we find out that there is a concept that uh, the sin committed by our grandfather, alayhi salatu wa salam, is being inherited by we, his grand grandparents, children. In Islamic teaching, there is nothing like that. He has committed the sin, confirmed by the verses of Quran, and Allah has forgiven him by verses of the Quran. Mm. So it has ended there. We are not inheriting anything of sin from him. Each and every soul is responsible for action or inaction of that soul. And uh, this verse is a testimony. Allah says, We said, Go down, all of you. And here confirms that Anabi Adam and his wife and we, his progeny. Father Allah added, for in my yard, yenna kumini guda. If my guidance comes unto you, this guda is guidance, which means we are going to be guided. Allah will provide for any generation a prophet and a book of revelation that should be followed. In our own case, the Ummah of Muhammad وسلم, our book is Al-Quran even though we believe in all other books but the one to be followed is the Quran which has been given to Rasulullah that is the guidance and Allah has mentioned severally in that book that it is a book of guidance then Allah said فَمَنْ تَبِعَ هُدَايَ whosoever follows this guidance the guidance of Allah Udaya, the guidance that comes from Allah's word, so that nobody will be claiming guidance, everybody will just claim, no, his own guidance, his own principles, his own laws, whosoever follows Allah's laws and dictates his commandments, <laughs> two things are going to be his reward. Number one, that person have no fear, that is khawf. Walahum yahazanun, and they shall never grieve. These two things have been promised by Allah Himself for those who follow Allah's guidance. And the guidance is a consensus among scholars that in the Quran and the Sunnah of Rasulullah. So Allah has given us a way out. Allah has given us the guidance. That's why in the opening of this chapter that we are reading, Allah says, Nalikal kitab, nare bafi hudan lil muttaqin. That is the book. There is nothing to be doubted. You need not to doubt anything of the content of the book of the Quran. And it's a book of guidance for those who are God conscious. And that book, Allah has promised to guide that book. Safeguard it, take care of it, and that's why nobody can change anything in the book. So, what is left for all of us is to increase our commitment mm. towards following the content of the book. By so doing, then we are saved from satanic plans. And inshallah, with our repentance, we are going to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with no fear and no grief. To this point, inshallah, we are going to call it a day. <laughs> All we must have said here 
of goodness is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Any form of error or shortcoming is from my own humble self. And I pray Allah to, Allah to pardon me and to forgive all of us. Uh, to our nation, Nigeria, we pray Allah to, Allah to bless us, Allah to give us peace, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase all of us in Iman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive all those who have passed away. And especially recently, uh, we lost one of our fathers, a board mm -hmm. member of this great center, in person of uh, Malam Abdullahi Yawa, uh, who has been buried. We pray Allah Ta'ala to pardon and forgive him. Mm -hmm. And even before that, the chairman of this mosque also, Dr. Hamza Jambo. We pray Allah Ta'ala to forgive all those who are passed away right from Anabi Adam till date. And for us who are living, we pray Allah Ta'ala to seize our lives as good Muslims. Uh, our brothers in Palestine, we should always remember them in our prayers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease their condition for them. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhir di hasana wa kina adhaban nar. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdik. Nishadu an la ilaha illa anta nas takfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Salamu ala al-musaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil.